Hello guys, so we're back again. Uh, so for today, we have a trouble with our bow thruster and it's the BCB which is not opening. Cannot be opened. So it means the 6600 vacuum circuit breaker is, is still engaged on the bus bar and it cannot be disengaged. Of course, if it is like this, it is a safety issue which we really need to fix. Otherwise, we cannot use the bow thruster uh, during arrival company needs to arrange additional tug which they said will cost around four thousand four thousand to six thousand dollars so come and join me in this new troubleshooting So just like what I keep on telling on my previous videos is that there's a reason why these things happen or we need to find out why this thing happened. So the first thing that I will do is to check the bow thruster motor if everything is okay there, if everything is fine because I don't want to do the isolation of our main switchboard and then only to find out that we have a problem on the bow thruster motor side. So let's go to the bow thruster room first and check the fittings, terminal box, the condition of the motor, if it is okay or not before doing anything on the main switchboard. So let's go to the bow thruster room. So here's the bow thruster motor. There is no signs of damage and all the fittings are okay as well as the terminal box. So this is our power management system. So the plan is we need to uh, isolate this side of the switchboard. So in order for us to do that, we need to isolate the MBT and the HR1 because the bow thruster is located at the left side of the main switchboard so if we will open this one and open the HR1 then this one will be isolated then to be safe we need to rack out the D1, DG1 and DG2 VCB and then we will open the transformers for the reefer and rack out the VCV as well because we don't want high loads once we will put back everything to normal and then this side because the VCV cannot be opened we will open the door in front and manually open the VCV so in this way we will not cause blackout on our vessel but rather the flow of electricity will still be in good condition or in good arrangement and then this one will be fully isolated this will be the safest way in opening the front door of our VCB for the bow thruster of course in doing this um, kind of job we need to do a permit to work toolbox meeting and an SJA so in rocking out the VCB, I don't need to include it on the video since I already have a separate video on how to rock out the VCB and I will put the link below. So after discussing to the chief engineer about the plan, we ready the PPE. I need to use the voltage tester as well as this stick in manually opening and closing the VCB. So I need to wear now the high voltage suit. So that's to keep us safe. Anyways, we're happy that this is available on board. So it means we have extra protection in doing this kind of job. Yeah. 
So the first step is that we put the generator number 1 and 2 into manual to avoid automatic start. So we also decided to open all the reefer VCVs so that later it will not take bigger load. And then we isolated the two sides of the MSB by opening the MBT. And then we started rocking out all the VCVs including the generator number 1 and 2. This piece, piece of metal we need to lift it up and then we will clear that pin. We need to clear that pin so that we can open the door. I am so happy that in this vessel we have this PPE which is suitable for this kind of dangerous job. So after clearing out, then I was able to open the door and to be sure I still use the voltage tester even for the outside panel to ensure that there is no voltage on the system. And then I use the stick to manually open the VCB while it is still rocked in. After that, I close the door and then rock out the VCV. Then we discharge the spring and then we open the front panel. Damper also worn out. Huh? Pardon? The damper also is starting to worn, wear out. Yeah. This one, the rubber on the damper. Yes, yes. yes. But we need just to. So we use the WD-40 in lubricating the mechanical points of the VCB. After that, we put back the VCB. So we are on the bridge and we need to test the thruster if it is working because it is very important to know if we can use it before we will get alongside in Chile because they really need the help of the bow thruster during arrival. Otherwise, the company needs to arrange additional tug. So we are testing the bow thruster and as you can see, the motor is now running. And then we need to check if the VCB will open once we stop the bow thruster. And then, now the bow thruster VCB can now be open and closed automatically. As you can see, notice that it is already open. And we tried the, v uh, the VCB to open and close, so we tried the bow thruster if it will work or not. And we tried it twice already and the VCB is now opening and closing. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, leave your comments, and hit the bell button. Thank you and see you on my next vlog.